The three-day Economic and Financial Affairs Council meeting has kicked off in Copenhagen. The overall goal for the meeting is to discuss EU-wide economic stability packages, the upcoming seven-year EU budget, and proposals for tax on financial transactions. Let's have the details. An informal meeting of European Union finance ministers or ECOFIN has opened Friday in Bella Center, Copenhagen. The overall goal for the meeting is to discuss solutions to the economic crisis and decide the size of bailout funds for the indebted European countries. However, to keep the 27 member states united amid disagreements over the size of the financial firewall is another important issue for Denmark and the EU presidency. What we need to do is to make sure that we stay together as EU as 27. The second important uh, debate is the debate about the economic situation. And uh, of course, I think that you can feel as well that there's a slight change of atmosphere uh, because of the very important steps taken by the ECB. Uh, there is room for making sure that we're actually doing what we said that we want to do, which is to consolidate and make sure that each country is on track. And uh, I do hope that the debate today will show the very strong commitment from member countries to fulfill obligations and to make sure that decisions once uh, taken and the reform of the Growth and Stability Pact, they will actually do these things. The Eurozone finance ministers have agreed to build an 800 billion euro financial firewall against the current debt crisis. As for the result, Vestager says the most important thing is that the Eurozone countries can make a decision. Well, as, as, you, as you put it yourself into word, it's a question of belief, because firewall is, it doesn't seem to be a question of, uh, of uh, a solid uh, knowledge about what will work. And I think the most important thing that Euro countries can do today is to take a decision so that we doesn't have to keep on discussing whether one number is better than another number, better than a third number, with this source or that source or a fourth source coming into the picture. She also praises the efforts the Eurogroup has made in the past couple of months to contain the debt crisis. Well, I think it's, it's very important that the, that the Eurogroup uh, do exactly what they have been doing for the couple of months, and that is to take the political leadership of crisis management within the Euro countries. And uh, I don't think that you can ever uh, make the, f uh, the market uh, satisfied. What you have to do is to say, this is what we think will do it. This is the height, the width and the length of the firewall. This is the political decision and this is the end of the discussion. The stagger asked that even if the discussions are about the European economy, one should not forget that the European economy is closely linked to the global economy. Well, I think it's important that the debate is brought to a conclusion, also because there is a global debate here. Of course, the European economies are vulnerable, but the global economy is vulnerable as well. And I think the debate and hopefully the conclusions today can lead forward to a decisive and very good meeting in the G20 in Washington late April. Hosted by the ongoing Danish EU presidency, the informal ECOFIN meeting will also discuss EU-wide economic stability packages, the upcoming seven-year EU budget, and proposals for a tax on financial transactions. The no formal decisions will be taken at the meeting, and the discussions are expected to move forward EU's growth and stability agenda.